how do you know if Subliner has your speakers? So this is the second video in the Subliner Q&A series of videos that I'm creating right now. And this question comes in from Arthur who says, are my speakers in Subliner? If not, how do I add them? So first of all, how do you know what speakers are in Subliner? Well, if you already have a Subliner account, then you can just click through the app and see what's in there. If you don't, you can head over to the homepage at subliner.com. And if you scroll down, you'll see the section called what's included. And there's a list of everything here. I know it's not super easy to read, um, but I'm not super great at web development. <laughs> and this was uh, what I could figure out to try and get a, a table onto this page. So you'll see over here on the left, brands of full range speakers, brands of subwoofers, and then the models connected each of them. And you'll notice that at this point there, I've got um, a lot of Meyer sound, a lot of L acoustics, um, and then a little bit of several other brands. So then the question, if my speakers are not in Subliner, how do I add them? So what I tell people is that kind of depends on your level of patience. I have uh, two methods. So if you have, you know, a high amount of patience and you can spend a day on this, then I would recommend that you please sign up for an account over at tracebook.org. This is um, a community that we have been building for the exchange of loudspeaker reference data. So you can upload your measurements there. So when you get to this page, you'll see a button here. You just need to create an account, head over to the upload page, and then on this upload page, you'll see videos with instructions, and there's also a link to the, um, the tracebook measurement procedure. Okay, I understand that not everybody wants to take that amount of time to do all of their measurements and upload them to tracebook and have them be moderated, although I'd really recommend it, you'll learn a lot. Um, if you don't wanna do that, that's totally fine. You can just send them directly to me. And so how you'll do that is basically the same thing you would do over here in Tracebook, just a little bit more informal. So I recommend that you do a ground plane measurement unless you have uh, access to an anechoic chamber. Um, and, and just basically set everything up as you would use it during uh, a real show. So that means um, whatever amplifier you use, uh, whatever DSP and DSP preset, and then you just wanna write all that stuff down and send it to me so that when I put it into the app, I can say, okay, it's this speaker uh, with this processing preset and everything will be defined, okay? And then I just need to know um, the distance that you measured from the microphone to the grill or baffle and then any user definable settings, like I mentioned preset or if there are any switches on the back of the speaker. And then send me your native measurements. So I have access to most audio analyzers, I think, except for SysTune. Um, so feel free to send me the native files. And then if you would like to get your entire inventory into the app so that anytime you set up any speaker, you'll have access to it in the app, then one way you could do that is kind of set up a station where you mark everything out and then just uh, leave all the microphones where they are put a speaker down, measure it, bring in the next speaker, bring in the next speaker. Um, I've done a bunch of speakers that way. Uh, I realize that this is kind of a simplification. I'm not taking you through every detail. That's why there are several videos in this video series that teach you how to do it. So either watch those videos or please feel free to comment on this video or send me an email, nathan at sounddesignlab.com um, and we can discuss, or I'll, I'm happy to even get on the phone with you. I really appreciate if you are going to take the time to do these measurements so they can get added to the app. Um, so let's talk about any questions you have relative to measuring these things and getting them into the app. So Arthur, I hope that answered your question. If you have any questions about Subaligner, please put them somewhere where I can see them. Thanks.